it's a little bit slimy, but not like slime that comes off, but very smooth animal. Very, and they're very gentle, very docile, so it's, a, it's an interesting feeling. It was an offer I couldn't refuse. Stingray Bay exhibit supervisor Michelle Kamarik inviting me to join her in the 16,000 gallon saltwater exhibit that is home to 26 Kalno stingrays, three southern stingrays, oh yeah, and a few small sharks. We're standing in here with a relative of a hammerhead shark. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, there went one right there. Uh, but people are sticking their hands in here. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> the ham the bonnet head teeth are really tiny, all those sharp, but they pretty much stay away. And all the rays have their barbs trimmed, so because they don't have predators in there, they don't need them, and they can't hurt anyone by touching them. And they actually like to be touched, so it's a cool they interesting seem to, They seem to like the, the touching. They uh, why do. is that? Is it a... it's a, they're looking for food, for one. They, they eat all day long, so they, they look for food, but they also like the tactile reinforcement of someone actually touching them. So if you, Enrichment for them. They're very friendly. Hi there. They are friendly. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually one of the most gentle creatures I've ever worked with. They're personable. They all have their little personalities. I know them by name. Um, so it's just very fun to work with them and keep it a challenge to keep a saltwater environment in correct parameters. You know, we keep the temperature, the salt content, the pH, all of that in perfect parameters for like an ocean environment. So they're very happy in here. It feels like home in Oklahoma. As Michelle mentioned, uh, they're always looking for food. And feeding the rays is something you must experience for yourself. Put it about six inches under the water and wait until one swims over your hand, and then it will just pretty much vacuum it off of your You're hand. You're kidding. It's a very good vacuum suction. Now they're coming. Yeah. Do I let it just kind of slide out? Uh huh. Well, they'll, you'll. You'll feel oh, gee whiz, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that was a, a, a sucking uh, action there. Okay. Here you go. You hungry? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a big mouth, too. Yes, it is. Now, what happened with And they have plates. They crush their food, so they don't necessarily have teeth. They just have these crushing they crush plates. Mm -hmm. So they don't swallow it whole. Oh, this is a weird feeling. They just, they literally suck it out. Mm-hmm. Is that why they're on the bottom a lot, looking for Yes, they have these lobes on their face that you see that come down. Um, that's so they can create a suction cup on the ground and suck things through the sand. And Michelle and her staff hope you leave Stingray Bay with a love for these sometimes misunderstood beauties of the sea. I want people, like especially people in Oklahoma who aren't very close to the ocean, and some of them probably haven't ever been to the ocean, to learn about these creatures, learn why it's you know, good to protect these kind of animals. For the, it, just to see them and touch them is education enough. These are marvelous creatures. Thank you for sharing them. You're welcome.